What up, peace? KG Drift in the building, and in today's video, I'm here to be bringing you guys some more Black Ops 3 information, and I'm going to be talking about the ARC-7, and for any of you guys that don't know what the ARC-7 is, it's basically another version of the AK-47 or the AM-94 from Black Ops 2, and I want to let you guys know that this assault rifle is probably one of the best ones that I... that that's in the game in my opinion I mean the gun is really really good it has a really it has a really good rate of fire and on top of that the damage is extremely good it's really outrageous and for those of you guys who are a fan of the AM94 from Black Ops 2 or just a fan of the AK-47 in general because that's what basically what it is this would probably be one of your favorite guns in the game in my opinion it's, it's like I said it has a really good damage rate and it takes about when you when you go up to close gunfights it takes about maybe two to three bullets to kill a person and when you're in medium Medium uh, size range is probably two to three also, but when you're in long distance, it takes probably about four shots. But either way it goes, the gun itself is really, really good. It feels good. It feels just like the AK-47 or the AN-94. It feels like both of them at the same time, even though it's kind of like the same thing. And me personally, like I said, the gun is really, really good, as you guys see in this gameplay. It's, it's just, it has, it, it has good handling. It feels right. It feels good. And it don't feel kind of like pretty off and pushy. And it, it just, it just don't feel that bad at all and um for those of you guys who want to use this weapon and want to copy my class like i said this is a best class setup video also so what i use for the arc 7 to make this gun really really good i use red dot grip and quick draw red dot is just because i don't know the gun itself feels really really good with red dot sight um unlike when you don't have any type of sight at all i mean just the iron sight of the gun just feels a little bit weird to me it don't really stand out as much i don't really like how it looks just because i don't know it like has like you know the little oval with the with the little standing part i don't know it just it just feels weird the it just don't it just don't fit me at all and i use uh, grip because like i said you don't want to be shooting because like i said the gun has a lot a lot of kick it has a lot of power so you would like to throw that grip on there so you can have a really, really good accuracy on your shots and have a really, really good aim on them because, like I said, that gun has a lot of kick to it. It really will make, when you shoot it, it will make your gun go all over the map. So you definitely don't want to deal with that. And last but not least is quick draw. And the reason why I use quick draw because, like I said, Black Ops 3 is a really, really fast-paced map. I mean, not map, game. <laughs> well, I say map, but it's a really fast-paced game. You come in close quarters against everyone, especially especially when you play the beta on some of these maps because the maps are kind of built, like from what I know, the maps are built like close quarter, more, you know, tech and technique. You can just change it up and be very, very cool in event. You just, it's a lot of advantages you can take from the maps, and it's really, really good. But like I said, the game itself is extremely fast-paced. You can't, I wouldn't like camp because, like I said, this game is not for campers at all. You can't really camp in this game because there's so many things people can use to find campers and stuff like that like I said in this type of game you just have to keep moving you can't really keep stopping because if you stop and try to camp you most definitely won't be getting killed it's kind of like advanced warfare because advanced warfare the movement system thing it was just a very fast paced game so it's really really hard to like you know camp and things like that for those the people who love to camp and stuff like i said it's really really hard and uh, i recommend like i said it's just it's just a game where you have to just keep going keep going to get it end up in close gunfights that's why i going back to what i said before about the close range damage the close range damage is really really good i mean like i said quick draw will help you bring up your scope even faster than before because like I said when you don't have quick draw it kind of feels a little bit slow so even though when you end up being in a gunfight you might lose it half of the time but like I said you might get lucky and end up winning it I don't know the game works in so many crazy ways so I could recommend you guys really using quick draw on on this gun it don't matter what you use just use quick draw because it will help you out a lot just due to the fact that it's close quarters now moving on to the perks that I use the perks that I use is overclock and for those of you guys who don't know what overclock is it's basically you earn your specialist weapon or your specialist ability faster, which comes in handy a lot because, like I said, this game is very fast-paced, and you will want to use, you will want to get something to get your stuff all the way quick as much as you can. Because, like I said, um, the specialist that I am, I don't know what it's called, I forgot, but it's kind of like the hunter basically. And so when you use it, you can see people through walls. It's like a, it's like your own mini red dot. Like I said, it really comes in handy, especially when you need it just to get some really, really big high streaks. So I recommend you using that. Now moving on to tier two, and what I use is anti up. And basically, what anti up is to start with more score streak points. It's similar, similar to hard hard line because, like I said, this game itself is kind of hard to get your streaks, but not really. It just kind of varies on how your play style works. If you're more, but like I 
said, if you're more of a guy who likes to rush in and stuff, you might be able to get your kill streaks a little bit faster. But like I said, the game is so fast paced, you might get shot up from different angles and things like that. And if you're more of like a campy type, it's kind of hard. It's going to be kind of hard because, like I said, people can come in and kill you because they have a lot of perks where they can, where people can find out where you are and things like that. So I recommend using anti up because you start with uh, score streak points with, uh, with that will help bring a good big boost to your streaks, even though it won't bring too much, it'll bring a good amount. Now, and the next one I use is hard hardwire, and I use immune, and it's basically what it is, it's immune to UAV, well, counter UAV, power core, immune e um, EMPs, and also it will not trigger proximity-based explosives or tacticals. And like I said, in this game, a lot of people use UAV a lot. UAV is like, basically, it's just like your girlfriend, basically, or boyfriend, if you're watching it as a girl. I don't know, you gotta hug him with all your might, or your mom or dad, I don't know, <laughs> any little crazy thing I can put like that, but UAVs is very, very useful in this game, and not only that, counter UAVs, and not many people use counter UAVs in my opinion, but I don't really know, I don't know what power core is, I don't, I mean, I've probably seen it before, but I don't know what power core is, people don't really use EMPs, but the way it goes is really really good and like I said it triggers proximity based explosives and tacticals and it's just like I said it will trigger I mean it will say don't trigger but like when you don't have um, when you don't have that engineer you can just run past the thing and it won't go off on you while will make it really really safe for you so I recommend using hardwire for tier 2 and use anti up because those guys, both of those perks will come in handy big time just due to the fact that this map is all about explosives and things like that it's just really really good and I recommend using that a lot now moving on to tier, th uh, tier 3 uh, the first perk that I use is Engineer, and it basically it shows enemy equipment or six, uh, yeah, basically it shows enemy equipment. It's just like um, Sit Rep from Modern Warfare 2, and like I said, a lot of people put a lot of, you know, mines and stuff down on Black Ops 3, so I really would recommend you using that, especially when you play SND. It really will come in handy a lot, so I recommend you using that big time. Now, moving on to the next perk that I use on in Tier 3, I use Six Sense, and basically Six Sense, it indicates the direction of nearby enemies in quadrants, and basically in quadrants. And basically, this is a really good, especially when you play, um... When you play S and D, it comes uh, comes in handy big time because it will alert if the enemy is close near you. That's if they don't use cold blood or anything like that. But majority of the time, people don't really use cold blood or anything stuff like that just to you know be safe for things like these. So I really recommend you using that because it will come in handy big big time, especially if you want to find out where the enemy's at. We want to go and defuse the bomb. It will alert where the enemy's at in different ranges. Now moving on to the third perk that I use, and it's basically gung ho. It basically hip fire your weapon, deploy equipment, and also throw grenades while sprinting and this comes in handy big big time because like I said instead of you standing in one place trying to throw a grenade why not just you know run and be able to throw your grenade also I mean when this when I first played the beta and I got to see this this was actually this was like really really cool to me I mean because it's really it's really fun to use it's really cool and like I said you don't have to stand one spot just to throw a grenade and things like that but you don't really have to use this but I mean if you want to just you know have some fun and want to just stand around you want to just keep your keep your flow going and keep the fast pace going then I recommend you using this a lot and also the next one you should use is awareness and basically enemy movements are easier to hear and basically like I said it's, it's really this is really like um, again this is uh, really good for S&D so like I said if you're like one of more of the pro players but I don't know if they're going to allow this in like MLG or anything like that but if you're like more of like a pub player and like the pub stomp on S&D this will be the way to go especially if you have a really really good headset because I have a turtle beach so I use this a lot and I recommend because this game is really recommended recommended to use headsets especially when you want to do all audio because it will really really come in handy so I recommend using awareness and last but not least is dead silence and for those of you who don't know dead silence is basically you silence your footsteps and things like that that also will come in handy so um, I don't recommend I recommend using I recommend you guys using all these like I said you only can use two perks but you can choose out of these, but my recommend is just all they all they all have their good ups and downs. It just depends on what game mode that you play. But if you're more of an S and D fan, I would go with like Dead Silence and Awareness, and um, also Six Sense. But if you're more like TDM or things like that, I would probably go with like um, Gung Ho and only that. Uh, maybe Awareness, maybe or just Engineer. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More great videos coming soon. Um, I will be. 
having a review about the game or well, about the beta, I'll give you guys my my thoughts and things, the good versus the bad and stuff like that. But for, for but in my opinion, I mean, like I said, I'm having really really good fun with the beta. The beta is really fun. I'm having it's it's really a blast. The game itself is fun as hell. Uh, for people that don't have a PS4 and have an Xbox One, you guys will enjoy this beta a lot. I love it a lot. Guns and stuff is balanced and things like that. I will be like I said, I will be having a review when the beta is over. I will have a review for you guys so you guys can check it out and just hear my thoughts about the game but like i said all i can say is i'm a, it's this game is crazy it's really really good and all i have is really good things to say about it i mean there's some bad things not too much but itself the game is fun it's really fast paced i love it a lot so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and also show some support by well i just said it but show some support by liking this video and also subscribe if you want to see more black ops 3 information tips tricks and etc and also if you guys want to keep in contact with me my psn name will be in the description below and not only that my instagram snapchat stuff like that will be in the description below if you guys like i said you want to interact with me have fun with me and also add me on things like that and also you guys can check me out on twitter if you guys want to answer questions and play with me and things like that so just remember you guys can add me on psn follow me on twitter check me out on instagram snapchat things like that so um that all will be in the description below so you guys can check that out so i hope you guys enjoyed this video live life enjoy it live it up and i'll see you guys in my next one hope you guys are enjoying the beta peace out y'all i'm out